It's all right, come on, will you get over to here? If this is China, I'll take Calcutta. Get those kickers up here so we can trim this bird up. Yes, sir. This isn't exactly like driving down a big square in Dublin. Before you get finished here, you're going to know every inch of these mountains. As long as the Burma Road is cut off. The hump's the only route in from India, and that's where every piece of food, every bullet, and every man lands. Yeah, that's what they told us in troop carrier training. I know that you've had your stateside training, but don't let it go to your heads. Here you're going to learn how to apply it. You're going to learn all about terrain, combat conditions, how to parachute equipment out of the plane without going with it. I don't expect you to like it, but I do expect you to get something out of it. For every one of you here, several dog tags have been sent back to the States. When your dog tags get back, it's my job to see that you're with them. Happy hunting, Mona. Thanks. Say, hey, this group has possibilities. How can you tell? They're men, aren't they? Sergeant Foster. Yes, sir. Get the truck up here. Corporal Salas, on the double. Well, yeah, well. Hello. Thank huh? you, dear. Huh? Huh? Well, the home was never like this. Now, what is a pretty little lass like you doing in China? Same thing you are, Lieutenant. Doing what I can about the war. Ah, yes, well, <clears throat> I like your weapons better. Well, now, feed raising must be quite a sport in China. <laughs> Hi, Cliff. Hi, Father. I just learned that one of your refugees is the grandmother of one of my orphans. Is it all right with you if I take her back to the mission with me? Help yourself. Fine. Your medical supplies will be there before you are. Thanks, Cliff. Oh, say, while you're in Calcutta, I moved my black bishop to King Seven. You're in danger of losing your knight, my boy. I'm looking forward to losing my knight, Father. Huh? But not over chess. <laughs> oh, you. Sergeant, arrange transportation for these people. Get a couple of jeeps here on the double. Yes, sir. I'm from Philadelphia. That's nice. I'm from New Jersey. Gosh, we're neighbors. I went to Princeton. A whole river separates New Jersey from Philadelphia. I'm a good swimmer. I'm in the Red Cross, Lieutenant, but don't let it confuse you. They serve coffee and nothing else. Captain Brandon. Are we stuck with him? You sure are. His old crew transferred out to Hang Yang. You're it. Oh, no. How do we join the Navy? The quarters, gentlemen. Hey, come on. Some Hong Kong dollars to pay the rent, and now it feel like a native. Your rent's already been paid for with American dollars. You'll get the bill.
the guys at Bunk here had a sense of humor. Yeah, I hope they're still laughing. Being ever so humble. Hello, Joes. This is Ellington. Ellington? A genius at reducing life's complexities. To him, everyone is Joe. Where'd he get the moniker? He reminded one of the boys of the family butler, and he's as good as they come. He'll shine your shoes, he'll press your pants. And he can tell a girl in Chinese you want to date with her. Hey, now there's <laughs> a valuable man. Any buck in the house? Stay out of the corner. Hey, sorry. Come here. What's he saying? Well, from what I can make out, he wants you to buy his daughter. Buy his daughter? I don't even drink their water. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, man. Uh, Mercedes with the leak, leak, leak. Good evening, Sadie. Hello, Buster. Hey, I'd like to have a little piece of this action. Look. What do you do, get a cut for bringing us in, Sarge? That's right. I'm working my way through college, correspondence course. What are you studying, Sergeant? Majoring in Greek philosophy, sir. A payoff, huh? The Greeks must have a word for guys like you, Foster. For noyados. The Greeks have a word for everything. So what are you trying to do, give up smoking? I just don't want to start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the liquor list. Mm -hmm. They give you that to make you feel at home. No matter what you order, you get butterfly wine. That's all they've got. <laughs> Shut. Make it six. Ah, so who'll know you broke training left field? Huh. There was a guy, a guy I played Class D ball with. He hit 375 one year, and the next year he was drinking. Now he's out of organized ball. Six drinks. That's Mr. Chips. What's he drowning? Nothing. He's in the third stage, that's all. Hmm? What? The first four months you're in China, you catch up on reading. The second four months, you catch up on women. Next to the old man, he's the senior officer here. This is his tenth month. What happens in the fourth stage? I don't know, sir. No one's lasted that long yet. Supports a large family, I hear. Buy me a drink. Yeah. Buy yourself a couple of drinks. Why you no like me anymore? It's no fun drinking alone. Hey, get yourself some coffee. Leaving early, Captain? I got here early. Oh. Very pretty. Pay not much money. What's very pretty? Good. You like? Sure, I like girls. I have. What the job? That's all. It just me fetch. Must have money. Money? Plenty of money. Enough? Yes. Okay. Where's the girl? You wait. I bring. I wait. You bring.
Now, yours. Mine. No thanks. You're welcome. You keep. You're welcome. Oh, no. Dalyton! Just a minute, Captain Joe. Well, don't you have your drink, Moonar? Now, I let you quite eat it. Here, your ego is on dying bang to the. You were Joe, Joe, you be holla. See, see, see. Hi, Shaw, you win, though. Dalyton! Later, Captain Joe. Very busy now. What do you mean, later? Busy? Come back here! Dalyton! Look, you're going to have to get out of here and take those flowers with you. Ellington, look, I told you the next time I caught you smoking, I was going to give you a spanking. Now, why do you do it? I'm nervous. Well, you're going to be, look, the next time you get nervous, go over and get yourself a piece of chocolate. What's the good of my keeping chocolates around a place if you're going to keep snitching cigarettes? Nothing like a little workout before breakfast, Doctor. Oh, Clint. morning, Father. Morning, sir. Now, look, the next time you get nervous, go right over there and get yourself a piece of chocolate. Understand? Now I'm nervous. Hi, Pop. Hello, Tansy. Coffee ready, Cliff? Right. Sit down, Father. Thank you. I picked up a couple of great stories for you in Calcutta. Good. Sisters always look forward to your little trips. Whole breakfast ready this morning. Captain by himself, girl. I see. Oh, now look, Father, you got me all wrong. At least give me more credit than that. I've always given you credit, Cliff, for a lot of things. All right, all right. So I had a few drinks. I know. Well, 
I better be getting back to town. I promised Sister Ann I'd pick up her parrot at the vet's, and I've got a few purchases to make. Well, at least finish your coffee. I'll get her out of here today. I'll have more time for coffee tomorrow. Eat. What's this? Breakfast, sunflower seeds and noodles. Ellington, get rid of her. You sure change your mind quick. What do I do with her? That's your problem. But be sure she's not here when I get back. American. What to eat, Sultan? Mornings, aspirin, mostly. A job for you? Here? Because I checked out. Maybe deal off. Hey, Pops! Hi, Father. How are you, Cliff? I thought I heard you drive up, and I'll be with you in just a minute. Hey. You're getting reckless. That last move only took you four days. <laughs> Ellington said you wanted to see me. Uh, yes, I do. What's that? That's a saxophone. Belonged to one of the flyers that got shot down. Sister Roberta learned to play that thing all by herself. Thought it might amuse the children. That song. Lying around the canteen, I guess. I hope you didn't pick up the lyrics, too. I don't think so. I never heard any. Well, it's just as well. Oh? What's your problem, Father? Not mine, Cliff. Yours. Oh, if you're worried about that girl, she's gone. I know. I brought her back for you. She's here at the mission now. Isn't that a little out of your line, Father? Cliff, nothing's out of my line where a human being is concerned. Take off your coat. Sit down. The last time you ever brought that out, I had to have a case of malaria. I have found that brandy has more than just curative powers, Cliff. Yeah, I could have told you that, too. It helps keep temperatures down during a serious discussion. That serious? Serious enough to affect the lives of an entire family. Here. Cliff, there were 11 of them. Two of the brothers were killed fighting the Japanese. One, a little girl, was killed when their farm near Hankow was bombed. There's still eight left. No land, no rice. The girl's family? That's right. Cliff, I've been in China 19 years. And I've seen little boys and girls, no older than the ones you just saw in there, 
become old men and old women just overnight. Yeah, I know they've got it tough, Father. But can't she stay here at the mission with you? Sure, she can. Sure. But she plans on returning to her people after her three months with you. Three months with me? That's what you paid for, Cliff, at the current market rate. You know, in the custom of the country, you bought yourself a bond servant when you gave that old man that money last night. Why, that's slavery. What kind of country is this? You're forgetting that in our own country, women were once sold into servitude. Why, even your own great-grandmother, mine, may well have been bonded into service the same as this girl. Sure, in the colonial days, but this is 1943. Yeah. I know China's somewhat behind the times, Cliff, but give her time. Be patient. She'll catch up. Look, last night, this whole thing, it was a big mistake. The money you gave that old man will help pay the land rent and feed eight people, Cliff. Look, Father, he can keep the money. It isn't that simple, Cliff. This is an ancient family, steeped in pride and tradition. You send that girl back and they'll return your money. And she knows it. What's more, she knows that she's the only thing of value that they have. You know where I found her? Ellington was trying to sell her services to Sadie's. Are you kidding? little merchant. That's the only way she knew how to repay you. And it may require quite a few donors. Donors who may have well, rather fixed ideas about value received. I think you might say we're putting this to its proper use now, Cliff. Thanks. I realize it doesn't show, Cliff, but this girl comes from a good home. She'll make you a fine housekeeper. No, Father. Look, I'm sorry. Cliff, it's only for three months. And it may mean the difference in how she spends the rest of her life. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm nobody to set up housekeeping with, and I've got the references to prove it. All right, Cliff. What's her name? Shu Jen. It means precious jewel. Precious jewel? say yes in Chinese. Oh, well, you'll have to ask me a question first. I wouldn't want to waste a yes. One crack out of any one of you, and I'll break your... Where's Alice? In her room, sir. duty till five. Well, I uh, thought maybe you might help me clean her up. I picked up some clothes. We're here to help your morale, Captain, but aren't you stretching the interpretation? Well, it's not what you're thinking. I'm sure it's not.
Sounds like it might turn out to be a love song. I'll pick her up in 10 minutes. Oh, you better make it 30, Captain. 10 wouldn't get me past my first eyebrow. You'd be a good little girl and get lost. Now we drink together? Beat it, honey. Don't you understand English? My English, very good. Man says beat it. it means something bother him inside. He needs company. Friendly company. I'm friendly. Hello, Kevin. Have a drink. Thank you. Saw your Jeep outside. I thought I'd let you know I got a message from Kwai Lin. Our uh, gorilla friends up there are going to be needing some more supplies. Good. Give me a chance to break in my crew. How do they look? Green? You know, someday you're going to find out that people can be as interesting as airplanes? Yeah. And if you'd let yourself, you'd find out that the world down here is not such a bad place to be in. Isn't it, Colonel? Everyone leaves it sooner or later. What are you going to name it, Hill? Well, I can't tell if it's going to need a name, sir. I just keep playing. Sometimes something comes out, sometimes it don't. Hill, Brad's in. Yo, what's the message for me? Are you kidding? How do you think the slow boat to China got its name? You won't get any mail for months. This is Richard Douglas. Must be your check, Mona. Yeah, thanks. You are married? We don't. This is Charles Garland. That's the other one. Twice. Hey, how's chances for a little courage service, Mona? Coming right up. Thank you, too. Poor kid. You know, to look at her, you never think she had any trouble. Poor. With 20000 in insurance, just for picking out a couple of Air Corps jokers she figured had to go. That's not very nice, Sally. Maybe not. But if you want to make any time with her, Lieutenant, you'd better tell her you're a lousy navigator. Not yet, Captain. All right, wait till that mail starts rolling in. My dad's got the best Italian restaurant in Seattle. One bite of his pizzas and you're dreaming of Rome. Me? I'd rather be eating French pastry and dreaming of Paris. Huh? Huh? of your property, Captain. That's not part of the deal. Whew, this dame won't take no for an answer. Ellington. I get chocolate now. I'm nervous. You're going to be nervous. Come here. I want you to tell this precious jewel that she can hang around her if she likes. But she's supposed to do one thing. Clean the house. Nothing else. Understand? Understand. 
，他说你可以住在这儿，他就要你收拾房间，没有别的时间，懂吗？他的衣服湿了，一定要脱下来耶。What did she say? She said you must take off shirt. Wet. Yeah, all wet. I'm going over to the field. While I'm gone, I want you to get a bunk and put in that room for her. And get one for yourself, too, because whether you like it or not, you're going to be my house guest for the next three months. Understand? Oh, you're here. My mom told me girls were dangerous. She should know about flying over mountains you can't even see. The Greeks say that nobody really knows happiness till after he's dead. Oh, great, we're not Greek. O'Neill. Yes, sir. The way you were navigating today, we could have all landed in Tibet. <laughs> That's bad. And you didn't give that mountain over quite in much room either. Sorry, sir. I guess I misjudged the altitude. Yeah, I guess you did. We're leaving tomorrow morning at seven. For full men. We'll drop some stuff to the gorillas there. Gorillas, huh? Boy, it's sure nice for the skipper. Gets to call on his folks now and then. <laughs> You now. She say I need something to keep happy. Very funny. We'll shut it off and be happy on your own time. Okay. Every time I come home, she's scrubbing the floor. Sure. Every time you come in, you make floor dirty. Slippers all the time wait for you. Why didn't she say something? She wants you feel at home. Coffee. Thanks. Now, Scram. Scram? Oh, Scram! Hey, Captain Joe. Yeah? She here four days. Four days she fix supper for you. Why you not try sometime? Yeah, sometime. Tonight, maybe? She good cook. No, thanks. What I need tonight has nothing to do with cooking.
Howdy. Seven. Yes, sir. You better watch yourself on those drops. If you get any closer to that hatch, the rest of us are going to end up with an extra pizza if they ever get here. Yes, sir. Say, what's with him? That's the second time he smiled this week. Yeah, it could be the influence of a little woman around the house. Yeah. Be enough to make me hysterical. Captain okay, Brandon. I got a plane load of refugees here that should be in Calcutta. I got a cargo over there that should be here. So you'll take off first thing in the morning. Right. Oh, I want Captain. While you're over there, would you mind picking up a present for my wife of some kind? I don't know anything about shopping for women. I'll trust your judgment. From what I hear, your taste is excellent. The harder she worked, the more she smiled. Well, just so she doesn't think it's going to be a habit. The only reason I'm doing this is to put a stop to it. Why don't you try sometime? Maybe you like you try again. I could not starve to death. What'd you think of that pork? Company cook has Chinese helper. Oh, well, I made it. Look, I can carry on from now. Thank you. Thank you. Scram. Scram? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Pretty soon she learned pretty good English. Wouldn't surprise me. Come in. Hiya, Father. Hi, Hi Grip. Hi, Nancy. Ni hao, ma. How you sit? Hi, sit, Nin. You sit. I go help Chu Jen now. Fine. Thank you, Nancy. Well, I'm glad to see you all right, Cliff. What makes you think I was? Well, I went by Sadie's, and they told me they hadn't seen you, so I thought... Oh, slippers. Mud, field, boots, you know, floor. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Say, I saw Colonel Wiley. Tells me you're going to Calcutta tomorrow. That's right. I was hoping maybe you could double that order I put in for medicine. You know I'll bring all I can for you, Father. I'll appreciate it, Cliff. I'm sorry to break in on your dinner like this. Tonight is fish night at the mess. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's... Fish very great, Pops. Why not try? Well... <laughs> Cliff? All right, Princeton, let's see what you can do with mountains that really climb. Yes, sir. Well, what are you eating, Kevin? Hmm? Well, what is that? Sunflower seed. Chinese peanuts. Let's go. You put hand up like this. You're not listening. You put hand up like this, fast, and say, hi, Captain Joe. Hi, Captain Joe. Okay, try again. Hi, Captain Joe. But, Phil, you got to look at Mona's side of this. Guys on a high casualty list have a right to grab whatever happiness they can. Mona can give it to them. The government pays for it. It's the least they can do. Seems to me you might be falling for her. So? So you're a sucker. All she's after is another insurance policy. You're forgetting she's taking a chance, too. I might not get killed. 
Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Hey, where you fellas been? It's almost time for takeoff. Well, we've been shopping, sir. Yeah, we picked up some of them fancy robes with the slits up the side. Yeah, and some long jade earrings. Well, they're not real jade, but they look molto elegante. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you now? Oh, it's not like that. These are for Shujen. The way we got it figured out, sir, the prettier we make Shujen, well, the more time the skipper will spend in his quarters. Yeah, and the less time with us. Sounds like some of Foster's Greek philosophy. Uh-uh. My own. <laughs> we'll be able to leave in a few minutes. All right, so I had to ride you on the way over. Maybe it'll save your lives someday. More important, it uh, may save mine. O'Neill. Yes, sir. You will admit that you're one of the worst navigators in the Air Corps. Yes, sir. When we're through with you, you're going to be one of the best. By that time, Gates will know something about flying. Our crew chief will stop worrying about the baseball scores and start thinking about the score here. You three kickers will stop kicking about China and learn how to kick equipment out of a plane. Now, what do you say we take her up? And relax. I'll be on your tail all the way home, too. Oh, Skipper. Yeah. Been doing a little shopping? Oh, uh, yeah. The Colonel's wife. Brandy glasses. Brandy glasses. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, I heard she used to be head of the Deference League. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> I know where we are, but, but where's the base? What's the matter, Captain? Malaria. I've had it before. Radio the base. Tell them to have an ambulance ready to stand by. No. Yes, Adamant, in my locker at home. That'll fix me up. Now, if you could just get us back, I can get out of Be right back, Captain Joe. Get charcoal. Okay.
Thanks. Sick. Gone. <laughs> so pretty. you understand this. But I'm sorry. Real sorry. Well, are you all gone? Where have you been? You say get charcoal, I get charcoal. And it took you all night? Sure. Ride with friends in ambulance truck. Truck break down. We sleep. Morning new truck come. Get charcoal. I fix heat now. But you fix nothing. Now get out of here while I get them get dressed. Go on, scram. He's okay. He's hollering again. Come in. Hi, you, Father. Oh, hello, Cliff. You're getting kind of formal, aren't you? That knocking business? I just dropped by to see if you got your drugs okay. Oh, sure. They got here fine. I just finished injecting them into 34 little backsides. Come on, sit down. I was glad I needed those drugs. Gave me a chance to see just how well Shijen is looking. I don't think she should uh, stay around any longer. What's the matter, Cliff? <laughs> she cooked fish again for you last night? No, but, uh, well, I just think she should go home. Well, she's not going to do that, you know that. Not till her three months are up. What do you mean she's not going to do it? She'll do what she's told to do. <laughs> An amazing child. To be able to annoy you so much. She's not a child. She's a woman. What is it, Cliff? What's on your mind? Something happened. That's too bad. It shouldn't have, of course. But then that's probably nothing to what might have happened to her. Are you forgetting that? Well, it's not going to happen again. Well, then what's your problem? Well, she bothers me. All my life, I was able to take them or leave them. Usually, I did both. But with her, it's different. All she wants to do is give. I don't understand someone like that. Res est ingenio sodari. What? Ovid said that. 
To give is a thing that requires genius. Ovid should meet Xu Jen. <laughs> what happened to the other song? Uh, Sister Roberta found the lyrics. <laughs> uh oh. You know, Cliff, I'm beginning to think that you may have me stumped here. Well, uh, when you know that you're licked, why don't you give up? Give up? Well, not while I still have a chance to win. Thanks. So long, Cliff. Suppose a rose could never grow. Suppose the sun and all the stars had lost their glow. Would our love replace the stars on high? And would our warm embrace replace the sunny sky? sing. Suppose the earth stayed bitter cold, forgetting spring. Would our kiss replace that spring of gold? And would our love survive the bitter cold? I can't suppose. that thing for almost three months, Steve. Is that it? I don't think so, Ernie. It's the ending. I'm not sure of it. Who is? That's what comes of hanging around with Foster. Now we've got a Jewish philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> Pizzas! Pizzas! No Come and Hi. get them! <laughs> All right, gentlemen, how are you having? Sausage, Alicia, mozzarella. It's green. Well, sure, it's good for you, penicillin. It's cold! Gee, look, you want it hot, go to Seattle. <laughs> well, I'm all insured. Now, what do you say? Cancel it. Cancel what? Cancel it, Dan. Before you go up on your next flight. 
you aren't the most contrary lass. Is Alice here? She's with Shu Jen. Lieutenant, letter for you. Postmark Philadelphia. What's inside? Well, I can't figure out where we went wrong. We kept you general dialed up. Sure how to cook the skipper's favorite dishes. I don't know. He still spends all day with us and every night at Sadie's. Well, you can't have gone too far wrong. He leaves Sadie's every night, Ola Monahos. Doubles? He leaves there. How? Ola Monahos. Hello. I'm looking for Cliff. He's over at operation, growling about some misplaced flight plans. Well, I've got some growling to do at him. Well, I have a jeep outside. Say, I just got a letter from my folks. They went over to Jersey to meet yours. Oh, Phil. No, I told them to. If we're going to get married, don't you think they ought to get acquainted? We're not going to get married. Now, Alice, darling, no, I... Phil. I've been there and it hurts. It hurts terribly. I volunteered for this so I could be here and see what he saw and know what he knew. I couldn't go through it again. Men do come back from the war. If there is a next time for me, it'll be after they do. Phil, I'm a coward. Please, now let's not discuss it further. Well, just for the record, my folks think yours are wonderful. When Father Carnes first told me just why Shu Jen was staying at your quarters, I apologized to you for something I'd assumed. Yes? Well, I want that apology back. All right, that's yours. I'm not through. At that time, I thought you were playing at being the great ambassador, the all-American hero, the big brother. Now I realize all you were doing was playing. What's this all about? Shu Jen. She's going to have a baby. I've often wondered what it would be like to meet a man totally without principle, a man without honor, without a trace of decency, and now that I've met you, I no longer have to wonder. Thanks. What's more, he's crazy. Shujan. Where's your den? Gone. I get bacon now. No more left. What do you mean, gone? She gone home to her family in Chungking. Three months over yesterday. Deal finished. Didn't you say anything? Leave any message? Oh, sure. This. She's sorry you not like her. Not like her? You never home. How long ago did she go? Long, long time. How long? Maybe 40, 50 minutes. Think you're going. And what do you mean by leaving this? All right. So I stopped coming home. Well, I didn't come home until I was either too drunk or too tired to come near you. Catch cold. You know, you have to start taking good care of yourself. You're carrying my kid now.
You know, that kid of ours is going to have everything. Yes, sir. He's going to have everything I never had. No one's going to shuffle him off from relative to relative, orphanage to orphanage. He's going <laughs> to... You don't understand one word I'm saying to you. Even if you did, you wouldn't understand a guy like myself. You know, I spent all my life shutting myself off from people. And then one day you happened to me. You know, I guess I fell in love with you right, right from the beginning. Father Corns knew it, but, well, I guess he wanted me to find out for myself. Well, I found it out. Never mind that. I want you to do something for me. Sure. Tell Sue Jen we're going to get married. You want me to propose? Something like that. Okay. Hey. What are you doing? Like you said, propose. I see American movie. Rosa She says no, but thanks anyway. You sure that you said the right things? You've got to. Tell her to ask her again and uh, you better try it again. Look, Father, tell her that she's got to marry me. You've got to tell her. She feels it would be a mistake, Cliff. I know that there's a lot of things... Look, I know, I know that there's a lot of things wrong with you, but I can change. Believe me, I can. Cliff, Shu Jen loves you. She's blind to your faults. It's because she loves you that she doesn't want to create any problems for you. Now, she feels that a Chinese wife might be awkward. Look, if you don't want to cause me any problems... Uh, Father, tell her if she doesn't want to cause me any problems, to, to, to marry me and all my problems will be settled. Well, quietly. Chetting But what did she say? She wants to be married in the Chinese tradition, Cliff. I'll marry her in Pig Latin. Everything but the fireworks, Cliff. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, 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 Cliff. <laughs> you don't see her face until after the ceremony. I just wanted to make sure they didn't throw in a ringer. Ah, uh, you. <laughs> 
Sensitive. <laughs> All right, Tansy. Offering the tea to your parents by proxy. Their acceptance of the tea signifies their acceptance of Zhu Zhen as a daughter in law. Now she's offering it to her parents by proxy. Maybe you should have come to the rehearsal. Take it. It's your father's gift as an acknowledgement of your marriage. Thanks, Dad. Now I'll bow before your own parents, both of you. And a bow before Shu Jen's parents. Congratulations, Cliff. Hmm? You're now man and wife. Thanks. Ah, 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 ah. Cliff, no. Kissing is not part of the Chinese ceremony. You simply face each other and bow three times. Bow three times. Mm -hmm. I like the way we do it at home better. First, your wife will follow you. Congratulations, son. Thanks. What's in this, Dad? Well, it's a laundry ticket. Father Karn said it had to be a deed of property. My shirts are the only property I own. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have handpicked a nicer daughter-in-law. You know, they wouldn't let me kiss my bride. But I can imagine anyone here object to me kissing my mother. How I do, Captain Joe? Okay? Okay. You can pour tea for me anytime. Congratulations, Captain. Thanks. Come on over, Colonel, and try some of this wonderful fruit. Captain, uh, I didn't want to break into your wedding, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to break into your honeymoon. Hmm? We're pulling out of here. How soon? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, get a load of that fighter escort, huh? Yeah. This one time we really raked. I'd feel more important if I knew what it's all about. Hey, Plato, where's Lu Fang? In China. Yeah, but what did the colonel mean in advance base? Anytime the Air Corps makes a move, it's an advance. I just talked to Lu Fang. We're gonna have to bring him in on the short strip. The long one isn't ready.
Where have you been? I couldn't find my lipstick. I couldn't let you see me without it, could I? I should say not. Goodbye now. All right if I kiss you goodbye. No! I said no! Sorry, I couldn't hear you. way we can't go wrong. It's got both pink and blue in it. But if this is a staging area, they must be getting us ready for something. Yeah, it's for something, all right. The captain's taking over training of all crews. My mom will sure be glad to hear we're flying a lot. She heard the ground was damp out here. <laughs> hey, did you fellas really make that many drops? No, stupid. We're expected. All right, that's it, gentlemen. Hey, the way I get it, we're getting ready to ship off for France. Sure. That's why I've been showing you landing strips in China. <laughs> <laughs> France, huh? <laughs> ah, she misses me. That's great. Uh, what else did she say? Well, it stopped raining in Kunming. Oh, doesn't Alice say anything about you, Jen? Not much. Nothing at all? She's, she's fine. There is something here about your daughter, though. Six pounds, three ounces. Six pounds, three ounces. Wow. Sit down, Captain. How are the boys shaping up? Oh, they're as ready as they'll ever be. Now tell me how long we'll have to wait. Incidentally, I have a request here from the Red Cross asking to be allowed to move up here. What do you think? Well, men are a little edgy. Probably be good for their morale. And you figure that your wife and uh, daughter will feel up to the trip? Yeah. I'm sure they would. That's all, Captain. Thanks.
say. Have you guys thought it might not be Mona and Alice who were sent up? They couldn't do that. Why, I, I'd be saying. I missed the Red Cross. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to have to marry you now. You are? Of course. People are bound to talk, chasing me all over China the way you are. <laughs> hey, watch out for my granddaughter. Your what? My granddaughter. My proxy. You are beautiful. What? That's right. Go on. And you are the most miserable, grouch, cockeyed captain in the whole United States Air Corps. Okay? <laughs> you left out cantankerous. She likes me. Look what I found. A stowaway. Hi, Captain Joe. And just what are you doing here? Maybe you need babysitter? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, I know you've all been asking a lot of questions about our move up here. And that the scuttlebutt has had as many answers. Well, I can give you the answer now. Burma. You're all aware that last month, on January the 10th, General Stilwell and his allied forces landed in Burma. But on January the 18th, he and his Chinese-American troops launched an offensive against the enemy. An offensive that is yielding us daily gains. We're about to launch another offensive, Operation Saucy. And all your work these past few months have been to prepare you for your part in that offensive. This is one time your scuttlebutt didn't even come close. Now then. The enemy has built a roadblock right along in here. Our infantry will begin a circling march and attack to break up that roadblock. You and your crews will drop the necessary ammunition, food, and medical supplies to keep our troops fighting. Any questions? That's it, gentlemen. The briefing will continue till 8 o'clock tonight. Operation Saucy begins at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Bill, Razor, you go with Murchison for the next two days. How come, Skipper? A couple of their boys are in the hospital. Anything serious? The usual. Uh, what a lucky break, a couple of days away from the Skipper. Ah, uh, you kind of get used to anything. Enemy casualties are mounting. We're 80 miles in now. We'll keep feeding them, as long as they keep walking.
Take your position. Oh, I'm sorry, Dylan. Months old, huh? Yeah, sure, that's when he cut his first tooth. I mean, he had a full set by the time he was a year old. Come here, I'll put you up here somewhere. I'd like to see it. Huh? Hey, he's wearing braces now. <laughs> We've got orders not to land, sir. The base is under attack. Sir, Colonel Wiley's just ordered us on the Lotzi. Matt, this is Brandon. Take over for us. We're going in. Good luck, Cliff. Cliff, Foresight. The old man says they're under heavy fire down there. You'll never be able to set her down. Watch me. Well, I'll send a couple of pea shooters to escort the Goonie birds. And the rest of us will go in with you. Maybe we can break up the party. See you in Lu Fang. Come on, Tigers. Let's cut ourselves a piece of cake. She was worried about the captain. Well, show me with her. She left the baby at Ellington over operations. Now get out of here and take up. The baby! Ellington! Lord, it's no use! Let's get out of here! to finish the job. We'll be out of here by that time. We're getting low on goat juice. We'd better go on to Lotzi. Have a nice trip. And foresight. Yeah? Thanks. Everybody you can find and put them on the plane. Yes, sir. You check the canteen, I'll check the house. <laughs> oh, 
Alice, you're dead. <laughs> Alice. Alice, where's you dead? She was in the tower. <laughs> Lady and Ellington were in the operation shack. They got that, too. Come on, let's go to the plane. Hey, buddy, 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 let's go. Buddy, hey, hey, go ahead. Hey, I'm doing it, buddy. Buddy, let's go. Hurry up. Let's go, buddy. All right, come on. All the way down, all the way down. Take care of them. Loaded, Captain. Charlie. Elliot. You're dead. Come on, Captain. Come on. Yes, sir. 31 survivors in all. Shove off now. Cliff. I'm not going. Cliff, there's nothing you can do here now. They'll be back any minute. I'm not taking off without you, Cliff. Colonel Wiley's been killed. I'm in command here. There are 31 people in there. Now get them out of here. That's an order. Let's go.
Attention, please. Pan American World Airways Flight 250 from Hong Kong and Honolulu, now arriving East Concord. Say, Dan Abona, I wasn't sure you got that wire. We got your wire, all right. We were trying to catch a plane out. I was going to close down my pizza place for a couple of days, but Dad's finding the store. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Gates. We're waiting for Xiaomi Brandon. Oh, yes, Mr. Gates. Step right over to the plane. Maybe she isn't on this plane. Maybe it's the wrong one. I have a cable from Father Carnes right here, flight 250. He put her on the plane himself. But how? Where did he find her? In an orphanage in Hong Kong, his own. He evacuated Kunming when the commies took over. That's how she's been living, moving from orphanage to orphanage. The dog tags with her. Father Carnes writes she never takes them off. dog tags get back to the States. It's my job to see that you're with them. I guess maybe he is with them. Mm -hmm. 